How's everybody doing today? This is Mickey. Well, it's getting to be that time of year. We have nice weather outside, and we're either out with friends, kids, or grandkids at ball games, or we're camping in the woods or down by the seashore taking pictures of wildlife or birds. In any case, we probably have our frame rate really cranked up on our camera, and we're racking off you know, 10, 20, 30 frames a second, trying to catch the action or the sequence of action that tells the story. And before you know it, you have a thousand pictures that you need to cull through to bring out just that single picture that tells the story or that sequence of pictures that tells the story of what you were doing at the time. And Lightroom has a couple tools to help us in that effort. And they're called the compare and survey tools. Now, they, they both allow us to cull, but they do it in different ways. The compare allows us to look at two pictures at one time until we find just the right one that we want to use to tell the story of what we took the picture for. The survey mode allows us to see numerous pictures at a time so we can hunt and peck and find just that right sequence of photographs so it tells the story in a sequence that we would like to express to the viewer. All right, so let's start out and look at these tools. We're going to be in the library mode of Lightroom, and we're in the grid view. If you're looking at a single picture, the loop view, that's a shortcut of E. If you want to get to the grid view, you hit the shortcut of G for grid. All right, in the grid view, we want to grab a sequence of pictures that we're going to compare to each other till we find just the right one, and that's the whole purpose of the compare tool. So I'm going to click on my first picture. I'm going to hold my shift key down and click on the last picture in the sequence and it will light up all the pictures. I can take away or add to this list individually by holding the command or control if you're on a PC and clicking or unclicking the pictures will take them out of the sequence. Now if I need more room in my screen all I have to do is hit the tab key and it gets rid of the panels on the side. Hit the tab key again and it brings the panels back. Once I have my picture selected, I'm going to go down to the compare icon and click on it, or you can click the shortcut key of C. When you do that, it's going to bring up the first two pictures in the sequence, and you can see the sequence down here in our film strip. So let's just go over the pieces parts of the compare tool, and I'm going to hit the, uh, the tab key so we can have more of the screen to see. The select picture is on the left hand side and that is the picture that we want to end up with it being the one that we want to keep. All right. The candidate picture on the right hand side are the compare pictures. So we're going to be going through all the candidates and if we find a candidate that we want to be our keeper, which we call the select, we're going to promote it to the select screen and then move on to see if we can find anything better than that. If we look down at the bottom part of the screen, you can see that the first two pictures, 71, 271, 272, 271, which is our select, has a white diamond. The select candidate, the select photo will always have a white diamond. The candidate will have the black diamond. So as we're paging through these, you will see the white stay the same and the black move. Now we also we can zoom in on a picture if we want to see something a little better just by clicking on it and it will zoom in. You can increase your zoom by the little slider right here. Clicking on it again will take it out. Now if you click and hold you can move the picture anywhere you want on the screen and as you can see they're moving in unison. If we have a little lock down here if we click on it we now can move just one and it doesn't, it doesn't move the other one. All right. Now, if for some reason you move one and it's not, you know, we have this one up here and we want to get them back in sync, we can click the lock here and then hit the sync button and that will bring them back into the same plane and the same uh, zoom rate. All right. So that's how we navigate once we find the pictures. So now let's go through our pictures. To go through them, you're going to hit your right arrow key on your keyboard or down here at the bottom right, we have a right arrow that we can click here. So if I click this, I get another picture. And I really like this one better than, I like this candidate better than the select. So that means we need to promote this one to make it our select. 
All right, so to promote the candidate to select, we use the promote button right here, or the shortcut is the up arrow. Either one will select the candidate and put it in the select screen and bring up the next picture. Now all we have to do is go through the rest of the photographs to see if we can find one that works for us. So we'll go through these next five. That one looks good, but I like my select better. No, no, and no. Now after we're done, you can click the done arrow, the done button, and it'll bring you to your select candidate. So now that you have your select picture from that whole sequence, you can now go into the develop module and process the picture to bring out exactly what you wanted to express to the viewer. All right, let's take a look at the survey mode now. Like I mentioned earlier, the survey mode allows us to see numerous photographs on the screen at one time so we can select the proper sequence of photographs that we want to use to represent the event or what was happening when we were taking the, the photographs. Uh, we're in the library mode of Lightroom and we want to select the sequence of photographs we want to review. Click on the first one, hold my shift key and click on the last one and it lights them all up. Again, control or command click will add to or take away from the sequence that we're going to review. If you hit the tab key, it gets rid of the bars on the right and left so we have more room to see what we're doing. Also you'll notice that all the selections are showing up in our film strip below. Everything we do up in grid is kind of reflected down in the film strip below. Once we have our photograph selected, we're going to click on the survey icon, which is this little icon here at the bottom left, or you can use a short key, shortcut key, which is N. I don't know why they chose N for survey. I just remember it by a mnemonic, mnemonic of numerous. So N is numerous, figure, numerous photographs. If I click N, it brings us up into the survey mode screen. So as you can see, all the eight pictures that we selected are on the screen at one time. All we have to do now is review each picture in the sequence to make sure these are the ones I want to keep or I want to get rid of it. To get rid of a photograph, when you hover over the photograph, you'll notice a little X in the bottom of the right hand corner. If you click on that, it removes the pictures and kind of shuffles them back into the correct sequence. So we're just going to go through and get rid of the ones we don't want. Uh, so we'll keep this one, this one, and this one. I want to get rid of this one and this one. So we just end up with four photographs. Now, if I want to zoom in and look at a photograph closer, all I have to do is double click on it. And you can use your command or control plus or minus to shrink it or make it larger. If you use your arrow keys to the right, it takes you to the next picture in the sequence. Of course, the left arrow key takes you back into an earlier picture in the sequence. To get back into survey mode, you click the N key or you click the survey mode icon right here. Once you have all the pictures that you want to use, you then have the ability to change the sequence of them. And all you have to do is click and move it into a different sequence and it will then put it in the sequence that you want to present these photographs. Once you're through, all you have to do is hit the G key to take you back to the grid view. And at this point, the photographs that you've chosen are highlighted and you can rate them uh, either with stars or colors. Like for me, I'll put a six on them for red and that way they're all highlighted so I can get to them when I go into the develop module and I can work on them at that point. Well, I hope this short video was helpful when looking at compare versus survey mode when we're looking at our photographs. Just remember that compare is just to look at two photographs at a time and find just the right one well, while survey is looking at numerous photographs so we can determine the right sequence of photographs we want to use. If anybody has any questions about this, please don't hesitate to drop me an email or drop me a note and I'll be sure to get back with you and help you just the best way I can. I'll talk to you all soon.